terrible place is our world. City. Remember, hey, just we're here from the garden backs too. A new Pizza Thursday, Jack and Dexter 2 edition. And if you saw this one, go and check it out. And yeah, y'all may have saw on the beginning of this that I added how, yeah, the last part did end. We did do the last mission, you know, where we had to, or where we found um, St. Moses. Or when Jack and Daxter realized that they're in the same, the same place, but you know, they're in a, they're in the future, right? They're in their world, but in the future, when they found it out because of St. Moses' hut. But again, doing that whole missing leading up to that cutscene, just managed to cut out, or. It just didn't save all of that until that cutscene, so that's why I just said that cutscene. But yeah, we're, let's head back to Torn. Gotta head back to Torn. Gotta head back to Torn now. Shatters decide it's time to meet you. Why is that place in the old ruins so important to you? There's a powerful energy force at the old house. The metalheads are drawn to it. No kidding. We used to know the guy that lived there. So, you're the new recruit, so keep getting into trouble. Oh, no, not you! Welcome to our humble underground movement. I am known as the Shadow, but you may call me Samos. And you are? Jeez, Jack, we went through all that to meet His Holiness, old log the head, Grandpa Green. Don't you know who we are? Sorry, kid. Never seen you before. And I never forget a thing. Because that's the other Samos. That's not their Samos. It's the other Samos. We came through the rift with you. Into the future, right? Yeah! You used to look older than dirt, and uglier than a knotted stick. Huh. What gifts? Did you get a little nip and tuck while we were gone? Listen, boys. I don't know what kind of twigs you've been chewing on, but I don't have time for this. We've got a baron to overthrow, a child heir to protect, an invasion of metalheads to stop, and a city to save. I'd say the schedule's pretty full. Besides, I haven't gone through any rifts. I hate teleporting. Sure sounds like the old same old. Right now, I need you to go to Haven Forest and root out a few metalheads. That forest is my source of power, but I can't protect it much longer. Chase down and destroy all the metalhead scouts you find there. Good luck. And welcome to the fight. Yeah. There's the same host from the future, but he just doesn't know Jack and Dexter. Because again, it's not the same one that went through the rift with them in the opening. Oh yeah, and this is the... Um, of course, the first edition of December as well, and, and the last one of me being 20 years old. So the next ones, the next ones that will be happening, I will be 21. Yeah, I, want, I also forgot to mention that. Are those coppers still following us? Okay, good. Because I was going to say, there's no way.
Then what do you call this, copper? <laughs> right, what do you call this and what everybody else is doing? They're hovering as well. And they say this is a no-hover area. Like, what do you call this, though? <laughs> I think I know what mission we're, we're heading into. I think I know the mission that we're about to get to. Wow, the jet board's ours! I call yep. failing I might know what mission we're about to get into yep I know it when that when that icon showed up I know exactly Okay. Here's your jet board. I'm pretty sure this is the one we're gonna have to, you know, chase them down like an egg thief or something. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yup, this is exactly the one. I remember those icons, I just couldn't remember if this is the one where we have to chase them down like you would with an egg thief. Stupid trees. Okay, that's one. I don't think there's any other ones in this area. I don't think so. Or in that part right there. So we might need to go through here. Hopefully everybody had a good Thanksgiving this year. Definitely a good Thanksgiving. And if y'all have watched the Thanksgiving Parade as well. Which, yeah, also the whole um, Tom Kenny there, dressed as Patchy. That was definitely a surprise. And him, of course, talking like Spongebob while dressed as Patchy. I'm sure a lot of people definitely was not expecting that. Or was quite surprised to see that. That was definitely quite a really cool surprise there. I always do like watching that parade every year. It may see his Thanksgiving parade. The Macy's Thanksgiving parade.
Yeah, now I'm having to chase this one down. Because all the days we have to chase down. felt like this year, this year's Thanksgiving, I feel like I didn't eat too much, but I may have eaten a whole lot as well. I'm kind of half on that, on thinking if I did or not. I mean, again, just like every year, I do try to tell myself not to eat so much. Because again, eating some, eating some for lunch, and then waiting until later to for supper. Just going one place, going one place for lunch, and then the second place later on for supper. So you have to make sure that you don't eat it up. Don't eat an absolute lot. I mean, it's definitely hard, though. I can definitely say it is not easy because there's a lot of good food. And that's really one of the only times of year where it's like that, though, when it comes to Thanksgiving. That's definitely one of the times of year where you've got to try to tell yourself not to eat so much. I mean, really, that's any day, right? I guess you could say. But, you know, especially when you know you go to other places, too. To, to eat as well. You gotta tell yourself, don't eat so much, because you still have to leave room for later. Why is that part... Yeah, this is annoying. This mission is annoying. Annoying in my backside, kind of annoying, but because again, I really, I really don't really like the egg thieves in Spyro. Anyway, they're one of my least favorite enemies. I mean, I like the concept of them. They're just, they just suck. just absolutely suck. So, I am kind of mixed, though. I am kind of mixed on if I want to see them in Spyro 4, right? If I want them to be brought back in Spyro 4 or not. I'm kind of mixed on it. I'm kind of torn on that whole, that whole thing. I swear, every time I try to get on that one, I swear, every time I try to get on that one, I mess it up. I fail it. <laughs> I just swear, every time, every single freaking time, I manage to mess that up. 
I don't really remember how many attempts this actually took the first time around. I don't really remember how many tries this actually took me when I was when first playing this game. I don't remember how many tries this took me. See what I'm talking about? Just trying to get onto that one. It's such a big pain. Yeah, redoing this mission, I can definitely say it's one of my least favorite. Due to this whole thing in general, just due to this whole thing in general, especially with the hoverboard, how aggravating just using this hoverboard can be. Thank you, Jesus, I managed to get that one. Took me seven trillion times. I know that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, but still, dear Jesus, that took forever. I think I know what task he's about to do. I might... I might... I think I know what task he is about to give us. And I don't think I'm going to like it, if I remember what it is. Again, I'm not really so much worrying about the Precursor Orbs this time around, since, you know, I already did the game 100% the first time playing. So, again, these are just going to be any percents. And this series is going to be any percent. I got to find the exit. That's the thing. We just, we're just back at this part now. We just make it back to this part now. Back in the city. Okay, there's two icons here.
Crow is just one of the strangest, though. I swear. Crow is just one of the strangest characters. Oh yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Oh, it's so fun. <laughs> Again, I'm being sarcastic about it. I really did not like this missing at all. Yeah, this missing can go screw itself or something. That's all I can say. I'm just going to put it like that. This missing could go screw itself. This missing right here. This missing can surely screw itself. I don't care how it does it, it can just do itself over. Especially with these bombs as well. I mean, yeah, of course I get that's the whole point with the obstacle and stuff, but still. And, of course, you're going on a time limit as well. Yeah. You're going on a stupid time limit. But it looks like we're able to do good here. We did it. Good. And I guess we better go and head to Crow himself, right? We better go see what that creepy dude wants. Again, creepy guy. <laughs> I mean, would you trust him? Would you trust Crow? I mean, yeah. Of course, we end up having to fight Crow in a boss fight. Right? And end up killing Crow as well. Him exploding. But still, would you kill him? Or would you save him? Or would you... Would you trust him? I wouldn't think so. Thank you. 
Get in, mate. Get in. <coughs> we'll give you a ride. We'll give you a ride. This boy, this boy is big, though. I'm just saying, this boy is big. Ginormous. I'm actually surprised Jack is able to carry him, though. I'll leave, I'll leave that one there because that, that vehicle is about to be wrecked. Alright, it's about to be destroyed, so I'm just going to take another car. And just, or I should say borrow. I'm going to borrow another car. Again, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Oh, that's a relief. I thought you took it without permission. Oh, permission is permission. You can borrow anything you want, anytime, as long as you bring it back before it's missed. Coppers. I know they're I know they're guards, but I like to say see a coppers. I'm gonna have to get another vehicle. He's a good, he seems like a really good guy, but he's kind of cuckoo. If I say so myself, he's kind of, kind of gotten a hit ton in the head. Oh, 
matter no matter what we do, we're always getting in trouble with the law. With these with these guys. What's Crow wanting now? I was gonna head back to Torn, but what's Crow want now? That's worse stuff than just than just mud, especially considering that it's you know what, because it's in the sewers. That's why that's why the sewers stink so bad. I'm not gonna lie though, that statue right there, that statue in the middle of the Baron is. A really cool statue. I'm not gonna lie. That is a cool statue of the Baron. Of, of, uh, um, Aslan's father. That is a really cool statue of him. I'm definitely not gonna lie about that. Definitely a really good, really cool pose statue of him. dark um powers that's what i was trying to use yeah i was trying to do that I 
got your butt, Aslan. Or I got your butt covered. An easier way to put it. There you go. We've got them all. The metalheads are getting bolder every day. It's almost like they're testing our defenses, like probing attacks. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're welcome. Hmm. Yeah. She didn't even say thanks or anything. She's just on straight. <laughs> She's just doing it straight, straight to the point. I mean, I mean, she is, um, Baron Praxon's daughter, so. Should we go head into the sewers and do that thing Crew was mentioning before he head back to Torn? I know I keep saying. I know I keep on saying about going back to Torn. We're gonna get back to Torn, don't worry. But. I guess we should go ahead and do that whole sewer mission first. Yeah, back into the icky, icky, disgusting, very, very disgusting sewers. And did I mention disgusting? I may have mentioned it before. Yeah, I may have mentioned it. Twice or so times. Yeah, I love how that just incinerates you so fast. That really does incinerate you so fast. It's ridiculous. It's crazy how fast that can incinerate you. Yeah, be, be sure not to fall. still can't get over how, in the last part, I managed to miss that, or how I managed to say that Ratchet and Clank reference that I did not say the first time around when I first played the game. Like, it's crazy how I still managed to miss that, um, Ratchet and Clank reference. Because I was told about it. I was definitely told about there being a Ratchet and Clank reference in Jack and Daxter. But it just took me to my second time playing the game to even realize. Yeah, watch 
watch out for these bombs. There's the videos. Two feet tall, fuzzy, and running around in a sewer without a pair of pants. God, I miss pants. <laughs> I just love how he just says that he misses pants. I mean, at the end of Jack and Daxter 3, he managed to get some pants, right? At least he got his wish about wanting some pants at the end of the third game. Leave the sewers. Because <clears throat> we got the key. killed us. Head back the crow. He was enjoying that scratch. You can tell Daxter was really enjoying that scratch from Tess. Right. He was he was literally enjoying that. That's probably one of the that's probably one of the good things of him being what he is. Right. 
right, the, the creature that he is. It's probably one of the best things for him that's, ha that's happened to him. I can't believe that it, that actually didn't trigger anything with the guards. I'm surprised that didn't even trigger anything. I would have thought they would have been on to me. I'm very surprised. back going to crow long enough. I'm going to crow now. I mean, I've held back going to, back to Torn. I'm going back to Torn now. I'm going back to Torn now. I know I kept saying to go back to Torn, but I kept doing other things. I'm going back to Torn this time, for real. Oh, it's dismissing. Yeah, it's dismissing. Having to protect the kid. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid, Crocodile, with you. You mean little Jack, right? The little kid is Jack. I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodile... Uh, he really wants the... Hey, kid! Wait! He really wants the pet to be lost. <laughs> he really wants the pet to be lost. And yeah, I don't really like this missing a lot. Or bet. Gotta protect the little guy, the little Jack. Gotta protect the little, the little Jack. Gotta take him to the power station. Gotta take little Jack to the power station. Here 
was there, kid. That is the metalhead later in an old coat form. It's an old gazer form. I hope we have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly. <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tool. Oh. Frankly, <laughs> I don't believe it exists. But you might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. Yeah, it paid. <laughs> that little thing paid. That little mutt. Not model mutt of theirs. Of the kids. Or Jack's, I guess, I should say. Paid all over. I mean, it is, again, it is the metalhead later in an, in an old man form. So I guess you should. I guess you don't have to feel so bad about it. <laughs> All right, because he is he is the metalhead later, just in an old man form. He's just disguising himself as an old man. Nobody even noticed that. I think I made a wrong turn. Took a wrong turn. You go back to the um the rice area too, or the hover area. I'm heading back to the... I noticed I'm heading back to the mountains, which I'm not planning on going there just yet.
I think I made a wrong turn again. Yeah, I'm just taking the wrong turns everywhere. I know there's a map you can see. I may be going I may be going the right way. Funny how Kira didn't even notice Jack's voice. Which Jack never really talked in the first game. The Baron pumped our boy here full of dark eco, and it did something to him. Now he's got super moves or something, and a few anger issues as well. I've been looking for you guys forever, and planning a way to get us back home. Somehow that rift took us far into the future. I calculated the time displacement, and I found it. Well, sort of. Working with the underground, fighting the Baron. But he's, uh, what? You need to go see him. And I need to get to the Baron. You could try to win the Class 1 Racing Championship. The winner of that big race always gets to meet the Baron in the Pecalus. But you have to qualify by winning the lower class races. There's a Class 3 race starting soon. You could drive for my team. But Jack, we should think about getting out of here. I don't like this place. And some of the people are creepy. Jack, my boy, I need that old key you found, eh? A special client has requested it. Sorry about that, crew. <laughs> I must have forgotten. Right. That face, though. Like, is that really... Attention all citizens. The Class 3 race is about to begin. Like, is that really a, a face of crows that you want to trust? Sewing a guy that you want to trust? Not really. Not really, I would say. Yeah, the whole rice. Being able to rice. I do like this concept, of course. The rice. I know, I know the, about the shortcuts, though, obviously. shortcuts. I gotta remember exactly how we how we approach the shortcuts though. Oh yeah, I think we need a speed boost though. Yeah, something like that. We need to do something like that. Well, we gotta be careful with our vehicle though. We don't want to destroy it. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that is the that is kind of the small problem about on the on this though. How easy how easy it can be to crash. And 
if you do crash, you have to end up doing the whole, all laps again. So yeah, you are gonna have, you do have to be careful. like that is good though. Yeah, something like that is good. That sword cut is really good. You just gotta really be careful though when using it. You gotta be really careful when using it. Oh yeah, and the other opponents can also use the sword cut. Yeah. The other opponents can also other racers can use the sword cut as well. So keep that in mind. Now, if we don't mess up on this lap and stay in the lead, we'll win. to win. When is this city gonna provide some challenge, huh? Hey, I watched your race today. You were pretty amazing out there. Oh, thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashley. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's, uh... A friend. A very... Sounds like Kira is friend. jealous with Ashlyn. Thanks for out with that tanker, Jack. You saved a lot of lives. I'm not my father yet. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous palace and imagined a better place. By the way, they're hunting for you. I'd watch out for Errol. I can't protect you from him. Woo! She's a Betty! And she likes you, Jack! Not that I can account for her tastes. I bet you'd love to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> what? What'd I say? What did you say, Jack? <laughs> you said that you would love to pen some medals on her chest. <laughs> That's what you said. Probably something to, probably something that We not supposed to go to the mountains anymore? Or what? Should I try to head to the mountain? I know it doesn't sell it on the mark, though. Or on the map. But should I still try to head over to it? Roger that. 
Also, we gotta see what this other thing was, too. Okay, there's the, there's the thing with the, um, you know, the, can't say it, can't come to out of my mouth, you know. Oh no, it's that section. Oh, I hate that section so much. I'm gonna have, I'm I'm gonna do that later. I am not ready to endure the pain of that section. You know, with all those crimson guards. No. No 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 no. I am doing that later. I'm not putting myself through that right now. I'm not going to put myself through that right now. That was definitely... I know exactly what mission that is relating to. Yeah, I am not putting myself through that any... Or not right now, at least. Like, no thank you. I know I'm going to have to do it eventually. That's the sad thing. I'm going to have to do it eventually, but I'm not doing that right now. gonna head to the mountains. Yeah, we're gonna go and do Sig, what Sig wanted. Back into the mountains. Back to the mountains. So what part exactly? Was it again? Was it this area down here, or I couldn't remember? No, we still can't do that part. I think it was where we had to do that hover part. You know, with the hoverboard. I think so. I'm gonna go over. To, I'm gonna go over there and see, though. I'm gonna go over there and check. It might be this section. It might be the section I'm thinking about. This area through here. Yeah, here we go. I couldn't remember. And it's these invisible ones, he said, wasn't it? 
those invisible type ones. Yeah. kind of say them when they're invisible. You can sort of say them. Yeah, you can sort of say them. Or tell where they are. You can slightly say where they are. You can kind of say where they are. Is there any more in this area? I think that answered my question. Now, is there any more in this area? Like, any more anymore? Or can we go to the next area to fight these creatures? I think we're all good on this area. to switch. We need 11 more now. Now we need 10. Thank you. 
There's three more. These are the these are the three we need. Try not to die here. There we go. Thanks, Sig. Came close to dying there. But we managed to take them all out. <coughs> Excuse moi. And we're gonna have to do it sooner or later, though. Alright, we're gonna have to do that stupid sex and I was trying to avoid sooner than later. We're gonna have to do it very sooner than later. As much as I don't want to do it, we're gonna have to do it. As much as I would not want to do this mission, I know we're going to have to. And there's really no point on trying to save it until later. Because the longer we save it, the longer the longer that means we're going to have to hold on to it until we have to eventually do it. Again, just a reminder, I really hate this section that we're about to encounter. It's probably one of the absolute worst missions in the game of what we're about to endure. I hated this mission when I was this mission that we're about to do in the first time around. Oh, I hate this section. I despise it. From what I've heard, you can just roll. Yeah, from what I've heard, you can just roll.
but yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm rolling the wrong way. And again, if you get in the water, you die. Unless if you can get back up there in time, but... Yeah, I hate this missing. This missing can go... F itself. This missing can also go screw itself as well. Yeah, this missing can also go do something with itself. I understand the concept of this missing, I just hate it. I just despise this mission. With all of my baying, I despise this mission. One of my absolute least, one of my hate, most hated parts of the game as well. Yeah, one of the most, one of my most hated areas. From what I've seen, or from what I've told, somebody told me, one of y'all told me, I could just do this, though. Yeah. From what some of y'all told me, I could just do this. To avoid fighting. That you can avoid fighting. But I don't know how hard that's gonna be. You know? the whole avoid fighting scenario. Right, because... Yeah, that'd be handy. To not have to fight. That you wouldn't have to fight or anything. Again, I just hate this mission. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course you're supposed to fight these things. You're supposed to fight them. That's the whole gimmick of this mission. You're supposed to fight your way through. That's the whole point of this mission. This section right here. Can we just avoid some of them, though? Like, just by doing this, though? That's what I wonder. Can we just be avoiding them like this, though? did it. Oh, we almost got into Claire, but that stupid thing in the water killed us. I'm trying not to lose myself. Alright? I'm not... I'm trying not to... I'm trying not to have a mental breakdown over this. But, again, I hate dismissing with all my gut.
Alright, I can describe how much I hate dismissing. Again, if you could just go through it, though. Again, this is just my probably my number one most hated mission in this game. And probably in the whole Jack and Daxter franchise as well. At least in the first three games. I just hate this mission with all my gut. With all of my gut, I hate this mission. This mission can go jump in a lake. Yeah, this mission can go jump in a lake or something. That's all I can say. And I forget to stop touching the water to get those stupid things to not sew up, though. Again, I'm trying myself. I'm trying not to lose my. I'm trying not to lose. I'm trying not to go. You know, not trying to lose myself here. Get angry in the moment. I'm trying not to get angry. And you have civilians. You have civilians, citizens, walking in the way. And of course, they're gonna. They're gonna screw you up as well. These these people just walking by, they're gonna screw you up as well. They're just gonna make things a whole lot worse. I mean, I can understand, but I kinda don't understand and I want to know who exactly thought of this area. Or this section right here. Like, who thought of this part? Who thought, who thought of this idea right here? I want to know. Who thought of this part right here? Again, these stupid civilians are in the way. And I hate them. I hate them so much. I despise them. <laughs> I, st I despise all these civilians just walking in your way. They're stupid. <laughs> like, whose idea was it, though? Whose idea was it to put civilians, to put citizens of Haven City in the way, right, in the path? Who thought of Whose idea was that, exactly? Whose part was, whose idea was that exactly? To have civilians all over the place there in this section. And I hate getting into the water. <laughs> I hate getting into the water. It's so easy to fall into the water on this part. And I don't care if I'm do not doing this right. Right? I don't care. I don't give a horse's behind care about if I'm not doing this part like you're supposed to. I do not care. I'm sorry, but I do not care any way, any shape or form that I may not be doing it like I'm supposed to. I do not care one bit. Again, these stupid civilians. They're gonna they're gonna screw up everything for me. These stupid civilians are gonna screw up everything. And I don't know why I used my hoverboard as well. This missing can just go screw itself or just and everything else. This missing can just go die in a hole. I'm sorry, but this missing can just go die in a bottomless hole. I 
I despise this mission with all my soul and all my life. I despise this mission. I know I'm hating on this mission so much, but I really hate it that much. This is definitely one of the worst missions in the whole game. Like, it's stupid. <laughs> this mission is stupid. That's all I can say. It's stupid. Again, I'm sorry, but I really do find it to be a stupid mission. A stupid challenge. I hate to be that harsh, though. I really don't want to be that harsh towards towards this game. Because I really do love Jack and Daxter 2. I really do love Jack and Daxter 2. It's just, I hate this mission with all my heart. <laughs> I would rather do any other mission except this one, right? I would rather do any other mission except this piece of crap. Because this mission can literally just go H, A, L, double L. This mission can go where that, well, that is. water. I hate the water. I hate it so much. Why is it so hard to get in it? Or why is it so easy to fall in it, though? Why is it so hard to get into the water? Right? Why is it so hard on getting in the water? Get out of the way, you stupid person. Thank you. Don't worry. That piece of crap is over. Oh. That piece of crap is dealt with. I'm sorry I'm so harsh right now, but I'm so, I, again, I am sorry that I'm so harsh about that mission, but I mean it though. I mean it. I hate it with all my soul. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather do something I do not like, like touch wipes or something. Which, yeah, I hate the touch of wipes. Or I hate the smell and touch of wipes. You know, baby wipes. And I would even touch Play-Doh, which I hate touching Play-Doh as well. I would rather touch those in instead of doing this that mission we just did. That mission can go down under where the, where the devil is. That's where that mission can go. Straight down under. Oh, again, it's over though. It's over. That crap is over. I don't have to... I thankfully don't have to deal with that again. Again, I do apologize. 
but I had to say some, or I had, I had, well, I know I probably didn't have to, but I just couldn't help myself. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. But now, we can go into here. I gotta take deep. I gotta take deep breaths after that, though. After after that rant, I have to take deep breaths. Deep, deep, deep breaths after that rant. I just have to take loads of deep breaths after that rant I had. I can't remember what this missing is here. I can't remember what this missing is here. Oh, it's this missing. Where we gotta use our hoverboard. It's another where we gotta use our hoverboard missing. Yeah, we gotta break all these support cables. This missing isn't really the worst either. I definitely would not say that. As long as you don't have to, as long as you can avoid the Crimson Guards, then yeah. Besides the whole, besides the whole Crimson Guards that you're having to look out for, I don't really find anything else for this mission to be all that difficult. It is good. It is good to go and get rid of these crimson guards in the areas, though. Like I said, I don't really, I don't ever really, really found this mission to be all that bad. As long as, again, you don't get killed by the Crimson Guards, then... then yeah, this mission isn't really all that worrying about. I was gonna want to get down to the ground to try to get some more health, but you know that wasn't happening. I mean, yeah, of course we're gonna still have some very sucky. I don't know how long that that cut off. I don't know how how long it cut me off there. I'm sorry. I did not realize that it cut off all of a sudden. But what I was saying was, 
nothing will ever compare to that missing back there. Again, it's just these crimson guards that we're ha having to worry about. Am I going to have to get rid of all these crimson guards, first of all? Before I can properly go and destroy the cables? I feel like I may have to do that, though. Yeah, I feel like I'm probably going to have to go and take out all these other crimson guards, first of all. Okay, though. Did I just? Okay, never mind. We're good. some health when you need it, though. That's what I say. Where is some health when you need it? Because all we're saying is bombs. That's all we're saying is bombs. Is it really the Crimson Guards that are throwing the bombs, or what? I'm just curious. Like, is it really them that are throwing the bombs, or not? That's what I'm curious about. Like, is it really the Crimson Guards? Because I'm saying bombs being thrown where there's no... Crimson Guards about. There we go. We got it. Oh, 
was trying to get out of this area. Okay, so I moved myself a bit. Alright, so we can now head back. They're pretty good on this edition, I will say. Got a lot done. Even that horror, disgusting, putrid missing that I was blabbing on about. Managed to get that missing done. We're gonna before we say or before we before we finish for today, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say if if we go into another mission, I will save it for the next part though. Let's head over to the power station. No, you know what? No, never mind. Yeah. We'll stop it here. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this edition. Hit the like button, subscribe if you don't. Make your bonifications, turn on, so make sure you stay new. Like to know what y'all think. Until the next one.